As much as I enjoy watching giant robots, the Mobile Suit Gundam franchise has a problem. It's supposed to be about how warfare is the biggest obstacle to the progress of human civilization, but it's also really easy to be less aware of this message and more preoccupied with the robots that participate in the war itself. Whether this lies on the fault of the audience or the fault of the anime, there is, however, one Gundam entry that doesn't suffer from this issue. The 1989 OVA series Gundam 0080 War in the Pocket is the most coherent anti-war Gundam narrative in the entire franchise. It's not a coming-of-age story about a teenager who pilots a giant robot to save the day, it's a six-episode miniseries about an 11-year-old who wants to join the war effort because he thinks that it's cool. And what makes War in the Pocket so effective isn't just that the ending is tragic or depressing, rather it's because the main character is a Gundam fan himself. Alfred Izuruha is obsessed with giant robots, and like many other Gundam enthusiasts, he's not rooting for the Earth Federation, he's rooting for the Zeons. Not because he agrees with their ideology, but simply because he thinks that the Zaku robots look cooler. To the point where Alfred even goes as far as assisting a Zeon Special Forces team sent on a mission to destroy a Gundam robot hidden within Alfred's hometown. However, if the team fails, the rest of the Zeon military is completely willing to nuke the entire city on Christmas night just to ensure the Gundam's destruction. A detail that our main character is blissfully unaware of for the first few episodes. At the beginning of the series, Alfred is basically every Gundam fan whose viewpoint begins and ends with Wow Cool Robot the kind who approaches the series from an aesthetic perspective without engaging with its political messages, and thinks that the Zeons are the good guys while being completely ignorant of their fascist doctrine. I mean, the Zakus are a fun design, but we probably shouldn't ignore the fact that it deliberately resembles a World War II German gas mask, as well as all the other elements that compare the Principality of Zeon to Nazi Germany which makes the idea that real people have an affinity for this side of the conflict all the more disturbing. In taking place from the perspective of a civilian child, War in the Pocket is a Gundam series that tackles the franchise's own inappropriate fascination towards wartime aesthetics by representing it within the main protagonist, and having the audience discover the harsh reality of war alongside him. It's not just saying that war is bad, it's saying that war is a traumatic experience that takes the lives of the people you care about in preventable situations, and that fantasizing about being a soldier without thinking about the consequences isn't just woefully ignorant, it's childish. War is not fun and games, and to assume that Alfred even comes close to piloting the Gundam is pure naivete. I mean, it's okay to like giant robots, but there's a difference between appreciating good animation and glorifying violent aesthetics, so it's really, really important to start applying critical thinking to the things you love, especially Mobile Suit Gundam. I still love other Gundam shows like Gundam Unicorn as well as Gundam Build Fighters, and although Build Fighters definitely embraces the franchise as a source of fun and games, the show also acknowledges that the reason why it's able to have so much fun is because it takes place in a reality without war, where all the cameos of characters from other timelines demonstrate that their lives are better off when they're not fighting each other, when the robots are toys instead of giant war machines. With Gundam Unicorn, there might be a little too much sympathy towards the Xeon characters, but I also think that it only humanizes specific individuals that do eventually redeem themselves. If you're going to make a sympathetic Xeon character, their redemption arc should probably consist of deciding to not align themselves with space Nazis. 
To this day, I don't think that there has ever been a Gundam anime with such a well-articulated anti-war narrative as 0080 War in the Pocket. As a character, Alfred Izuruha is a brilliant critique of the biggest pitfalls that Gundam fans fall into. The cinematography draws attention to civilian casualties within the same frame as the giant robots, and the show's core messages are made even more poignant by how it takes place during the Christmas holiday season. The ending isn't cruel and depressing just for no reason, it's like that because it's trying to tell you that war is cruel and depressing. It's not just there to make the audience feel sad, it's there to change the way that we engage with the franchise as a whole, to change the way that we view Mobile Suit Gundam. And because of that, War in the Pocket is the greatest anti-war Gundam narrative of all time.